Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This video is all about my March monthly setup. So I'm doing like a theme this month. I'm going to try and do a theme anyway. So where my monthly setup is a set of different colors and then each week kind of I do something that fits in with that theme. So anyway, let's get started. I'm drawing out a calendar. This month I've decided to go for like a traditional calendar look because I don't really have a lot on so I don't need heaps of space to write a lot of stuff down. My theme for this month is autumn leaves, beautiful beautiful autumn leaves. So I live in the southern hemisphere in New Zealand which means that March is the beginning of our autumn season so I'm very very excited about this. I love autumn, it's my favorite season, I love the colors, I love the crispness in the air, everything, I'm very, very excited. So this layout is perfect. I'm basing my tree that I'm doing off of a liquid amber tree. I don't know what the Latin name is for that, but um, I just know them as liquid ambers. I love them so much that I actually have a liquid amber tattoo. So, you know, I really dig them. Um, I'm basically just using my Crayola Super Tips to create like leaf shape suggestions based off of liquid amber leaves pretty much there's not it's not like an exact thing and I'm not really varying the, the shapes of the leaves too much or like the angles in which you can see them so I'm just doing like a quick kind of suggestion in different colors I've got burgundy red orange and like a golden yellow tone I'm using my black fine tip marker just to um, suggest a trunk and some tree limbs there um, and then I'm just adding some more leaves along the bottom for a little bit of variety to bring those pops of colors over onto the rest of the page a little bit. I'm also using my fine tip marker just to add in some leaf veins as well just little suggestions nothing exact nothing too detailed just a a couple of lines here and there to add a little bit of a suggestion that they are in fact leaves and not I don't know weird handprints or something um, next I'm drawing a box for my tasks for the month um, I don't think I'll need a huge amount of space for tasks for this month so that's why I'm just yeah doing a pretty basic one so I'm using a black marker to fill in where I'm going to be putting my task header and I'm also going to do the same for the days of the week on my calendar as well so I'm just using this it's my random um, black Chinese calligraphy pen I don't remember where I bought it I could not tell you the brand or anything like that but I the tip is very very bendy so I wouldn't recommend it for what I'm using it for um, and then I'm just using another marker with a slightly firmer um, brush tip to write in March. I can't believe it's March already, it's, the year is going so fast. And I'm using my fine tip marker again just to write in um, the quote for the month, which is, your energy introduces you before your words do, which I think is very pertinent for me at the moment I think I've been struggling a little bit with like keeping my energy levels feeling I don't know high and positive so I just wanted to kind of remind myself that you know it's it's a choice that I have to create an energy that speaks well of me I think um, because your energy can affect other people you know if you come in feeling like all depressed and down and stuff all the time then other people might start to feel that way too so yeah, I try to be positive. Anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm just using my white paint pen to write in the days of the week and the tasks header, and I'm using a gray marker to write in the dates for each day. All right, over the page, I'm gonna do my habits and my gratitude log as well. So this is pretty simple. Um, I'm kind of doing this open calendar system. So I am doing individual calendars and then I'm coloring in the header to match the headers on the previous page. So we've got black headers for each of those and just writing in the days of the week as well. 
I like to have days of the week when I'm doing my habits because I just, yeah, I find like when I'm referencing what the date is, it's just easier to have like a, a day of the week reference as well for me. I don't know. Uh, and then I'm just adding in some leaves as well, bringing those beautiful, beautiful autumn colors over onto this page. Just imagining them falling from the sky and landing gracefully onto the, the earth below. Rubbing out some of those pencil lines as well. Always, always pencil lines, never ending. And again, I'm using my white paint pen just to write in each header for what I will be tracking that month. And moving on to my gratitude page. This is nice and simple. So first I'm just gonna do the leaves to bring all of the beautiful colors over onto this page as well. I usually just typically write down like one, maybe two maximum things that I'm grateful for, depending on how like detailed I am with the explanation of what it is. There you go. This is my monthly setup for March, 2019. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.